for fun tips and cool information, tune in to HealingTalks.com. Okay, I'm Nathan Battaglia from Healing Talks, and we have Arnold from Ar Arnold's Arnold from Way. Arnold and my YouTube, and both of us are interviewing Adam. Correct. We're both interviewing Adam, who has a unique story to tell. And by the way, it's 11.30 night. Oh, well, what, what is that? Right mean? now, we're talking, <laughs> all right. we're talking in the middle of nowhere. We're so we're for a festival, and all of a sudden we hear a story. We want to do it now. now. We've got to put it out there. I guess the we could I right now. We, we, we can't have a new wait. Story. We're, we're so, so excited and excited, <laughs> and people have to hear it. <laughs> right, because exactly. people, there's so many people out there with back problems. It's beyond. Yeah. And you have an amazing story. Uh -huh. You're on. Okay. All right. <laughs> so here's here's my situation. Is I ended up having a severe injury when I was 20 years old. I was in the military. You're in the Rangers. Yes, yeah, so I was that's in the not, military. Not, that's not, that's no, no, the elite, but we usually don't the say where it came of the from. Country. No, no, okay. just I was just jumping out of a plane. It doesn't just matter where I came from. Okay. So I was jumping out of a plane in the military. It doesn't matter where. Yes. And uh, I ended up having somebody come into me and collapse my chute. So I fell close to about 70 feet. It was in the middle of the night, so we don't know for sure. And what happened was I had a compression fracture of my L2. And so I ended up having to have a spinal fusion of my three vertebrae, L1, L2, and L3. They put two rods along the side of my vertebrae with three braces connecting those rods. Two screws through my L1, two screws through my L2, or two screws through my L3. They removed my L2, replaced it with a harm cage, took out my lower left rib, crushed it up, and put it around the cage. Uh, since then, my... In other words, actually, you were a mess. Yes, yes, In other words, yes. you could not stand barely. Yes. I, in other words... I was fact, a disaster. You were going to be disabled for the rest that's of your life. life. Exactly. Right. That's, that's, that was the... That was the... That was the uh, yes, that was the part of focus. That was the best. Yes, yes. The best thing so I could do. I collapsed my spinal cord. I still can't feel my left eye. Well, uh -huh. I got to a point in my life where I thought, what's the point of what's going on here? The doctors had me taking 15 pills a day. 15 pills a day. I started out with Vicodin, Percocet, morphine, methadone, lamazepam, tamazepam, lorazepam, lamazepam, Jeez. antidepressants, baclofen, methadone. Uh, all just all kinds of yes. stuff. This is one ridiculous. day. This is one day. Just right. ridiculous. All one in a day. day. Yeah. Right. One day you need 15 pills. That's what I would have to you take have to every day. Well, exactly. Right. Right. Okay. So I said something's wrong here. This isn't right. I'm staying <laughs> right. up all right. night. I can't sleep. I'm right. miserable. Right. I'm having night sweats. Right. I would not be able to work during the day because I'd be so tired from not being able to sleep from the medication they were giving me. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I started going into work one day and we were having a big breakfast. I took in a half a gallon of fresh juice for everybody and nobody drank it except for me. It was the first day I was full of energy and full of life. I was smiling One and second, feeling what, great. What, what in the world were you thinking of when you came to work? What made you decide to make a half a gallon of juice? We were having a breakfast meal that day and right. I thought I wanted to bring in something nice, something special and uh -huh. nobody's really tried fresh juice. And you just, where did you get that idea from? Well, my mom bought me a juicer for Christmas, right. uh -huh. and all of a sudden I figured I'll make fresh juice for everybody. Okay, good. So if you have somebody with a disability in your family or that you know of, buy them a juicer or get them juice, and it's a fantastic way to start. Even if it's just down the road, it's still a good path. Mm -hmm. So it got me headed down the right direction. Mm -hmm. As soon as I drank that half a gallon of juice, it, would, it takes about a half a gallon or so for you to really get the kick. That's I the first time ever. Yeah, first, first time, time ever. ever. First uh, time ever. Uh -huh. So I noticed all of a sudden, normally I'm tired, can't stay awake, and all of a sudden I'm full of life, full of energy. I notice instead of slunching over like this or leaning back, mm -hmm. I'm sticking my shoulders up, I'm proud, I'm confident, I'm feeling better. So then I said there's something to this. So now I started juicing every day. Every day. Every day.